condition you hear about very often. And typically, if you meet a person living with lupus, you wouldn't see any signs of illness. That's why every May, there is an effort made to educate the public on this chronic disease. Dr. Hidalgo explains how lupus affects the body. We need to, to start with the basics, and the basic is, is our immune system. Uh, our immune system is like our army in the body that protects us against bacteria, uh, cancer cells, and whatever other foreign body that intends to attack our body. What happens in, in those conditions is like uh, the, this army, one branch of the army starts to fight among themselves, and then um, as we are getting on the, dis on the disease, other branches of the army goes on and join the fight. And this is exactly what is happening with lupus. It's an autoimmune disorder where essentially uh, the body creates antibody and attacks the, their own cells. Since the immune system is the defense for the entire body, lupus can affect anything your skin, your joints, your blood, even major organs like your kidneys and heart. With a multitude of symptoms that could be lupus, the diagnosis is based on exclusion, which means other diseases have to be ruled out before lupus is confirmed. As the, the, the name is systemic erythematous lupus, uh, it can affect any, any organ in the body. Most of the time, at the beginning, is a lot of inflammation, with a joint ache, and most of the time you see also a lot of skin rashes, and the classic rash that everybody sees on the, in the internet is the butterfly rash in the, in the face. We usually say lupus is an exclusion diagnosis. Uh, we think about it, but we, of course we exclude more common things before we uh, say and decide to run the confirmation test. People also are more knowledgeable about the condition we see in more often than before. Uh, we don't have uh, statistics at this point, I believe uh, we are working on that, uh, but I don't have at this point the numbers. Okay. In terms of frequency, we can say, and this is basically around the world, we have a relation of 10 females in this in the group versus one, one male. This is the relationship is more frequent in, fem in the female group. Nonetheless, children, elderly, and men of all ages have been diagnosed with lupus. There is no known cause for the disease, and there is no cure. Lupies will take medication to manage the symptoms and boost their immune system. But the disease will affect each person differently. We have people that are there well, well controlled. Most of the times they don't have major problems. We have patients for more than 12 years and they never have a flare-up. There are other people that are more, the immune system respond in a different way and are more sensitive. Some of the things that we usually try to recommend and we usually uh, do every, probably, checkups twice a year, we review the kidneys because lupus is an, uh, also a condition that can affect the kidneys and there are many patients that are in dialysis due to lupus. Then we need to monitor the kidneys uh, very often. Some other patients are very sensitive to the sun. Dr. Hidalgo encourages persons who have some early symptoms to visit their doctor. It's a condition that you need to be aware. Uh, if you, you notice that you have skin rashes, uh, you have easily, uh, uh, you have joint aches, you have um, uh, fatigue, then just ask uh, to your uh, family physician if it's something that could be related or no, and ask if you need to be tested or not.